the best lather. I don't think I can. I love it and I hate it. <laughs> I cannot take myself serious. If I gotta go, I'm gonna go. Hey girl, welcome back. I'm throwing my lip on because I did not put anything, anything on my lips after doing my face. And I don't even have like the stuff that I really want to put on my lips down here with me. I'm just throwing this on. But hey girl, welcome back. Y'all, it's been a good minute since I sat in front of the camera. Like I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Like I have not pulled this camera out in about a week almost two weeks now well a little over a week um and that's because i just i just i don't know i just feel like i've been in a funk and i just haven't really been wanting to talk to the camera um but i'm back uh and as y'all can see i took my braids down <laughs> we are back with the natural hair I don't know y'all like I, I love the braids don't get me wrong but and um and if you guys some of you probably don't even know what I'm talking about because you some of you don't watch vlogs but I got my hair done for a trip that I was going on and I loved the braids like I kid you not they were the perfect most beautiful bohemian, bohemian knotless braids loved them okay and I definitely will be going back whenever I want you know to get my hair done again but I just missed my natural hair and I can't even remember the last time I even said that. Like, I don't even know when I ever said that, like that coming out of my mouth. Like I missed my natural hair, you know? Um, and I've been telling you guys, um, a lot that I'm really trying to focus on just caring for my natural hair this year and having the braids in, like, like I said, I loved them. Like I absolutely loved the braids. It just made me miss my natural hair. Like I miss just, you know, putting my fingers through my scalp when I'm washing it, conditioning it, and I just missed it. So we're back. Um, I just slicked it back and it's a little bun back there. It's back there, y'all, it's back there. <laughs> it's just not at the top anymore because I kind of got tired of that. But um, yeah, so that's literally not what this video is about. I just needed to put on a lip because I didn't do that. And if you're wondering what lip I have on, I have on the Tower 28 lip liner in the shade Draw Me. Oh, my heater is on. I'm gonna turn it off. I know it's kind of loud. It's probably, I don't even know. I don't even, y'all probably don't even hear it, but it's so cold in this room. This is our guest room. And this is literally like one of the coldest rooms in the house. Um, and you would think it would be warm because of the weather, but it's cold in here. Anyway, um, MAC lipstick in the shade Thanks, it's MAC. So pretty. It's like a pink, mauve brownish type of color. And then I just topped it off with the MAC um, lip glass. And that is a lip combo for today. Really cute. But yes, girl, we are back with the natural hair because I just wanted to like just dig into the products that I've been buying. And I couldn't really do that with the braids, but I will say one of the products that we're um, that I'm gonna be talking about today, I emptied when I was wearing the braids, which is crazy. Like I ran through this like crazy, but yes, girl, we have some products that I have been using that I'm currently using. Yeah, that I've been using and that I'm currently using. So I have one that I emptied and just a few products that I just like, I'm literally obsessed with that I will 1000% repurchase. So we're just gonna go ahead and start out with the product that I was using when I had the braids. This is the For You by Tia Multi-Use Hair Oil. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. So I think the reason why I emptied it so fast is because I use it like almost every day. But not every day, I would use it like every other day because I did not want my hair to get dry with the braids. Oh, let me turn this heater off. Anyway, yeah, so I would use this, if not every day, every other day because I didn't want my hair to get dry and since I had my hair in braids, I didn't want it to break. Um, and this says it prevents breakage. And I don't know, y'all, I'm gonna have to use this, like get me another one and just really use it on my natural hair. But y'all, when I took those braids down, barely anything came out. And also think another reason is because I didn't have the braids in long. 
That's probably, that's probably the main reason. Cause if I had my braids in longer, I'm pretty sure I had, I would have had more shedding. It's almost like applying a hair serum in your hair instead of like a hair oil. Cause you guys know like hair serums, they're more lightweight than a hair oil. Um, but I like it and it smells really, really, really good y'all. Ooh, it smells so good. But yeah, for you by Tia, I got this from Walmart. And I also um, have been using some more products from the For You by Tia line. So I have the moisturizing conditioner. Oh, I hauled this stuff in a, um, in a Walmart haul with you guys. So yeah, the oil, the conditioner, and I also have the clearing, uh, clarifying shampoo. So I was using this when I had the braids in. Um, I washed my hair really good when I got back from my vacation. And then like two more times after that, before taking them out. And I will say my favorite, oh, oh, I also have something else. This is the lightweight conditioner. My favorite products out of the ones that I've tried so far would have to be the clarifying shampoo and the hair oil. This shampoo will clean your hair. Like it's not gonna make it feel stripped. You know how some clarifying shampoos just make your hair or just have, like when you run your fingers through your hair and scalp, it just kind of has that squeaky, sound to it because it's you know squeaky clean it doesn't do that but it does get literally everything out like all the residue it just makes your hair feel really clean there is a shampoo that i used to use all the time that i used to get from target not the monday one but it's another one. Oh, kristen s am i saying that right kristen kristen s there's a clarifying shampoo um from that brand that I used to always get. And this kind of reminds me of, but this one is more moisturizing, I'd say. Like my hair doesn't feel too dry after I use this um, compared to the one from Target, the Kristen S. I think it's Kristen S clarifying um, <laughs> shampoo. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I just wanted to update y'all on those hair products because I did share them in a Walmart haul with you guys and so far so good. The conditioners are okay. They're not like groundbreaking, but um, I do like them. I say out of the two, I like, I don't know. I don't even know which one I like the most because I feel like they are kind of the same to me but I really just wanted to update y'all on these because I know I said this video is all about like my current products that I'm obsessing over not really obsessing over the conditioners but I had to you know put them in this video so that way I can update you guys on you know my thoughts since I showed those in a haul because y'all know when I do hauls I still like to come back and talk about the products that I shared in the hauls um, I guess we'll stick to hair products. Speaking of hauls, I did a Sephora haul with you guys and I'm still kind of going through some of the products that I shared um, in those hauls, but I do want to speak on this Jizu Honey Infused Leave-In Conditioner. I love it and I hate it. The only reason why I hate this product, <laughs> the only reason why I hate it is the smell. The smell is not the best. Like I was thinking it was gonna be something like their other products, like their other, it doesn't even smell like their other products. To me, it doesn't. Maybe to you, but I just feel like it doesn't, mm, I don't, mm -mm. it just has a weird scent that I don't like, but it does not linger in the hair. Like when I first sprayed it in my hair, I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. I don't think I'm gonna continue to use this because it just don't smell good. But y'all, when I tell you, y'all know the other conditioner that I always talk about, the, um, do I even have it down here? Ooh, I do, I do, I do, I do. The Adwa Beauty. So, y'all know I rave about this. I rave about it. It's the Adwa Beauty Melon Berry Hair Milk Leave-In um, Conditioner. This makes my hair feel like this. Like, every time I talk about these leave every time I talk about this leave-in conditioner, I tell you guys how, like, how soft it makes my hair feel. It just makes it easier to manage, to comb through, and it doesn't give me that white flakiness like some leave-in conditioners do. Um, but yeah, this is very similar. The sprayer is very similar. The smell is just not it at all. I did have someone tell me that she likes mixing it in, and I said this in my Sephora haul. Um, she was telling me that 
She liked mixing these two together and I've tried that and I love it. Love, love, love it. Honestly, <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. I think I'm gonna, whatever container I empty or if I can just find something that I already emptied, I'm gonna pour both of these in that together and just use it together instead of just going back and forth with these. But the Jizu Leave-In Conditioner, I love how it makes my hair feel. It just makes it very soft, very easy to manage. The smell is just not it. Um, so yeah, kind of like the Audio Beauty, but the only thing, the major difference between these two is I'd say the smell. This smells like candy, like a Starburst. It just smells so good. But these two together, perfection. And I 1000% will repurchase this. I'm still repurchasing this. Y'all know I've gone through a million and one of these. Um, but I will 1000% repurchase one of these to, um, you know, use it with or just use it by itself because it's good. I like it. My hair likes it. And that's all what matters. As long as my hair likes it, that is all what matters. Um, okay, y'all, 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 y'all. This is what I currently have in my hair right now. This bread hair gel curl capturing gloss. Oh my gosh. This is by far probably one. I don't want to say that because bread has a lot of products that I love but this is up there. This is at the top, but this is at the top girl, this hair gel. Okay. It is like, let me see if I can just compare it to something that you guys probably have already tried. Let me see. I don't think I can. I mean, it's a hair gel, but Y'all know how hair gels, like if you, you know, leave it in for a day or two, it gets white and flaky and just, ugh, this does not. And this actually has hold to it. Like it has hold. I have 4C hair like that kinky, kinky stuff, okay? This holds, I mean, y'all, look. I will say though, I do have it in with a little bit of the, um, what is it, the gummy um, edge control that I've been using. So I would put the gummy edge control just right here, like right here on my edges to slick that back. And then I'll just use most of this, like I'll take a handful, not a handful, but just you know a good little pump of this, rub my hands together and then just slick it all into my hair, rub it, not rub it, but just brush it back with a, um, a brush, slick it back, you know, put the rubber band on and I'm good. So, so, so good. And it smells so good. Yeah. They did something with this. I'm here for it. I love it. Um, and then that's actually all the, um, the hair products that I am 1000% loving and would repurchase. Um, I still have uh, some more hair products that I'm going to try out and go through because I got... Um, the ones that I showed you in the Walmart haul, I still have some more from that haul that I want to try out and the ones from the Sephora haul that you guys saw. So going to go through those. Um, and yeah, anyway, uh, let's see. Ooh, feminine products. So I just wanted to mention these two because they have blown me away. Like I am blown away with this uh, Luna Daily, the Everywhere Wash. This one is a fragrance free. I took this with me when I went to California and I am obsessed. When I say the first time I use this, I was like, uh-uh, let me go ahead and put another one in my cart. It is that good. And it's actually pretty affordable for it to be on Sephora. I think this was like 18, $19. Um, usually like stuff like this, when you see it on Sephora, it'd be like, what, $29 and above. Very affordable. Um, and the fact that I got, you know, a little percentage off made it even better. When I say this stuff is so gentle, when I say it just gives the most, the best lather <laughs> and you can wear it, like not wear it, but you can use it everywhere. Like you use it, <laughs> I'll be talking so fast. You can use it as a body wash, but I just use it as um, a feminine wash. I just, you know, wash my girl down there. And um, yeah, they have another one that's not fragrance. They actually have two other ones and those are not fragrance free, but I like it cause it kind of sort of reminds me of my absolutely favorite of all feminine washes. 
which is the Down There Wash from Target. If you've been watching me for a while, if you you know ever heard me talk about that body wash or that feminine wash, you know that is my all time favorite feminine wash. And this kind of reminds me of it. Um, it's very, um, what's the word? I don't know, it just, it just gives the best lather. It's very gentle. I've not had any irritation from it and I love it. So I got this and I also took this with me on my trip. This is the Luna Daily Everywhere Spray to Wipe. So you put this on your tissue and your tissue just transforms into a wipe, which is so nice. So say if you're using the bathroom in a public, you know, public bathroom, which I hate doing, but if I gotta go, I'm gonna go, okay? I'm not about to hold it, I'm gonna go. But anyway, just spray it on your tissue and wipe, and it's like you're using a wipe. So I just kept it in my purse. This is how it looks, and then when you open it, the spray bottle, uh, the little sprayer is purple. Really cute, but yes, 1,000, well, I've already repurchased another one of these. Um, I have it upstairs in the bathroom, but 1000% would repurchase this whenever I run out of this. I just don't use it that much. Um, this is one of those products that I just like to keep in my purse. Like I said, if I have to go to the bathroom in a public bathroom, you know, just have this on me. If I don't have, you know, wipes on me, really nice, really cute. I just wish it was a little bit smaller. This is 3.3 .3 fluid ounce. And this is the only size that they have. I just really wish that they came with something a little bit smaller. So if I'm carrying like a really small purse, um, cause I love carrying small bags, it would fit better in it. But as of right now, I've been obsessed with those. And then I have, okay, this Being Frenchie Milky Body Lotion. Y'all, I've been a huge fan of Being Frenchie for ever since they came out, ever since it came to Target. But I've never tried out the body lotion. Like, I feel like I've tried everything from the collection except for the body lotion. I take that back. I have not tried the body, not, um, the bath bombs. Never tried those. But when I say this body lotion is so creamy and smooth and milky and just all of the good things. But this is what it looks like. I am doing a campaign with Being Frenchy, and one of the products that I was super excited to try out was the body lotion. Like I said, I've tried a lot of the other products out, but the body lotion <laughs> had me blown away when I use it. I don't know if that is gonna already be up, but I'm posting it on my Instagram. It's like a cute little aesthetic reel. Um, but yeah, the body lotion is it. I'll show you what it looks like. I mean, it's just a milky white color, but oh my gosh, it's kind of like, I don't know. I feel like this is a mixture between a body lotion and a body serum. I don't know. It doesn't feel like your typical body lotion is very, um, I don't know. It just makes it so soft. I literally don't have to put anything else on for hours after putting this on because it just makes, it's just so moisturizing and soft and not to mention the smell is bomb. This smell I prefer to use like in the evening time because it's the lavender cloud. You know, lavender just kind of, you know, makes you feel calm and, you know, cozy and stuff. So yeah, but I like this. Now if I can get my hands on vanilla, the cashmere vanilla milky body lotion, I will be good to go because that thing is always, always, always sold out. Always, like to this day. I even looked it up the other day, trying to see if you know my Target had it or even online. The body lotion is still out of stock. And speaking of vanilla cashmere or cashmere vanilla, this body oil, I finally got it. I finally got it because when I went in Target, I saw that they had this in stock and they had my favorite body wash and cashmere vanilla in stock. So I got two of the body washes and I got the last one of this. Literally everything else was gone. Like everybody loves cashmere vanilla and for good reasons because it smells incredible like this is the most prettiest warm vanilla scent it's so 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 good but yeah finally got the body um the body oil you can use this in your hair but i'm not gonna i don't think i'm gonna use it in my hair but 
I just use it all over the body. I like to mix this in with my Necessaire body lotion. Um, I have like a little Necessaire body lotion that I'm currently using, which is fragrance free. So um, it made sense to just use this with, you know, something that's fragrance free. So love, love, love that. And oh, okay, update, product update. The Donna Karen Cashmere Mist deodorant. This is another product that I took with me on my trip and I am obsessed, obsessed with this deodorant y'all. Obsessed. When I say I be dry all day, all day I am dry using this. And the smell, the smell is really good. Okay. This is another one of those products like like as far as like the scent, I think you'll love it or hate it. There's literally no in between. I said that about something else. I, um, it was the um, Kayali Yum Pistachio fragrance, but Cashmere Mist, the Donna Karen. You'll either love it or hate it. It's very clean. It's very uh, powdery, and it's very um, what's the word? I love it. I love it. I love it and that's not like, that's kind of different coming from me because I don't like, I'm not the biggest fan of powdery scents, but I mean, it is a deodorant. So I would expect my deodorant to have a powder scent, but it's, I don't know, it's some, I can't really describe the scent, but it smells really, really, really good and fresh and clean and just, mm, smells good. And it actually, like when you put it on, you act, I could actually smell it. Like when I move my arms and I get a whiff of it. So yeah, and it keeps me dry. So been loving that. And okay, so I don't have a, like a ton of makeup products to like share with you because I still, I still need to do my um, testing new product video with you guys. And I have a couple of products that I shared in hauls that I still have not touched. I thought I was gonna touch them when I was on my trip, but I did not because it was like, a, that trip was go, go, go. Like it was just, mm, I felt like I didn't really have the time to like film like I wanted to. Um, but I do have some new products that I am gonna sit down with you guys and just play in and do a face with, but one of the products that I had been loving that I recently purchased during the Sephora sale was the Super Goop sunscreen. This is the glow screen. Um, well, this is the new uh, color because it came out with new shades. This is in the shade Sunset. But yes, yeah, the one with SPF 40 in, it's what I have on. It is what I have on the face. Girl, whenever I put makeup on, whenever I'm wearing makeup, it's been this. I haven't really been wearing makeup though. But whenever I do sit down to put a face on, I'm using this. I use this pretty much every day that I was on my trip. Um, and I love it. I absolutely love, love, love this stuff. So it's pretty sheer, but it's perfect when you don't want to wear foundation and it has SPF in it. Like it's perfect. It's like a skin tint so pretty um so yeah i just have this on with a little bit of powder and bronzer so the bronzer i've been using that i have been obsessed with so obsessed with you guys is the mac bronzer this is the new mac sunstruck bronzer i uploaded the video if you didn't see it already i already uploaded my review on it uh well first impression on it and i filmed that video like weeks probably almost a month ago when it literally first came out but i didn't upload it then because for some reason, Mac took this off the shelf. I don't know why, um, but they took it off the shelf and I was like, there's no reason for me to upload this video when nobody can get their hands on it. So I waited and they recently put it back on the shelf. So let me know what happened with that. Like if y'all know what happened with the whole Mac Sunstruck bronzer situation, let me know. Um, I don't know, but I will say mine, cause some people were saying that they it had like a weird smell to it, which is why they had to take it off the shelves. But y'all, I smell nothing, like literally nothing. I kind of want to buy another one just to kind of compare it to this one to see if, you know, see if there's a difference, but I don't know what happened. Like, I don't know why they would take it off the shelf. So if you know, let us know down below in the comments. But yeah, the video is already up. Um, I finally put it up now that you can get this because it is available online. But anyway, this is in the shade um, Rich Golden. And like I said, this is what I have on today. 
love this bronzer. This is also what I have on my eyes too. So I just have a full face of sunscreen bronzer. And that is it. And then of course the MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish Powder to set the sunscreen. But yes, girl, that is what I have on and I love, love, love it. And then, okay, last thing, last few things. I, okay, if y'all didn't get this when Sephora had that sale, I need to go ahead and get it now because it's still pretty affordable. I mean, it's from the Sephora collection. This little tool right here, this little tool right here, this is for the eyes. When I tell you this is probably one of my favorite little investments, this, I mean, it's so affordable, but this is something I didn't know I needed. So it's a, it's an eye roller. You use it either with your eye creams or without, but when I tell you, this has become my favorite little step at night. My favorite little step in my night routine is using this little tool on my eye when I'm applying my eye cream. When I tell you this feels so good, it feels so good. So there's like a little ball right here and you just, you know, it rolls around once you put it on your eye and I just roll it under the eye and I kind of take it right here, make a little C shape. And I just do that. And it feels so cold and it feels so good. I think I wanna start incorporating it in my morning routine whenever I feel like I just wanna do like a whole, you know, morning routine with everything. Cause some mornings I just, girl, I just be washing my face really quick and I throw on my skincare and I'm done. I don't spend a lot of time on products in the morning especially if I have to go somewhere or do something, I just try to, you know, do what I need to do and be done. But whenever I feel like I just wanna just have that extra time to pamper myself, I think I wanna incorporate this in the morning routine. Cause I definitely spend more time on my products at night than I do in the morning. Um, but this has just been like the perfect little tool. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I love the size of it and I just love it. So. If they still have this on Sephora, like I said, this was pretty affordable. Um, so I would, you know, I would still get it. Even if the sale is done, it's still pretty affordable. Um, and it's just a good tool to have. I feel like this is a great, you know, little tool to have in your routine. Speaking of skin care, Glossier, Glossier um, Super Glow Vitamin C Magnesium Serum. So this is a, um, I was about to say this is a tool. This is a product that I have currently incorporated into my morning routine. So I use this um, after washing my face. And when I tell you this gives your skin that beautiful glow within look, and it does say super glow, um, but it does give you that glowy, it's not like the pearly glow, but it just gives you that glow within look. And then I just top it off with the moisturizer, but I like it. I like it. Um, I haven't been using it that long though, but as of right now, this is definitely a product that I am loving and I definitely want to share with y'all. But yeah, that's the, the Glossier Super Glow Vitamin C Serum. And I use this with my Glossier um, moisturizer. And then, okay, let me talk about fragrances and then we're gonna be done. So I have been telling y'all about this fragrance that I got um, from Sephora. It's by the brand Net. Look at this girl, I've been using this stuff. This is the Coco Floor. Oh my gosh. If y'all heard me talk about this in my Sephora sale, if you got it, what do you think about it? Cause I am very curious. Cause I know I've actually been seeing people rave about the vanilla one and it, as much as I love vanilla, that one was like, oh no, like, I don't know. But yeah, I'm seeing more people talk about the vanilla one on TikTok and I don't hear them talking about the other ones that they sell, but Coco Floor, am I saying it right? Coco Floor, Floor. It is the prettiest, sweet, girly, feminine <sighs> scent is so good. And it's not like girly, like young girly. It's like more of a mature girly. Like it's very, I don't know. It smells good. It smells really good. So I want you guys to try it. If you haven't tried it already, um, just go in Sephora and smell it for yourself first before buying it. But I do believe um, when I was talking about this, I told you if you blind buy it, 
I feel like you won't be disappointed. But I mean, still go in Sephora and smell it for yourself. But yeah, I'm just hearing more people talk about the vanilla one on TikTok. And I'm like, have y'all smelled the other ones? Because I want you to smell the other ones too. But the vanilla one just, it I didn't like it. It was, I just didn't like it. I didn't like it. Um, and like I said, that's crazy because I literally like everything vanilla. Everything. Um, okay, the last fragrance I want to talk about is actually a repurchase of mine. This is crazy because I don't really re like repurchase fragrances, but I repurchased this one. Uh, this is the Dime Summer Sundays. I don't know if y'all remember. Comment down below if you remember. But remember a few years ago, I was raving about this uh, this scent and I had it and it was like the, the long skinny bottle. I just, I'm just curious, like how many of y'all remember me raving about it? But anyway, they have this brand at Ulta and I did not know that. I did not know it. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, I need another bottle. I'm gonna get the other bottle. So I got it. When I tell you I used and abused the last one that I had. So of course I had to repurchase it. And like I said, when I saw it on Ulta, I just like, I mean my points, I get to use my points. That's one thing I like about Ulta. Your points turn into cash. Like you can just, if you don't feel like spending money, if you have, you know, your points racked up, you can use that. And that's exactly what I did. That is exactly what I did. But anyway, let me tell you what this smells like. I know a lot of you are gonna disagree with me if you have smelled this and if you also have the other fragrance, but I also know some of you will probably agree with me as well. So if you've ever smelled Burberry Her or Baccarat Rouge or there's another one from Ariana Grande, I think it's Cloud. I don't have that one, but a lot of people are saying the Cloud smells kind of similar to Baccarat. I don't know, but I'm not saying it smells exactly like it. Um, I'm not saying that, but I am saying it kind of has that. So it's sweet, it's smooth. I'm gonna give you guys my made up, my made up descriptions. It is sweet, it's smooth, it's creamy, it's mature but not too mature. <laughs> I cannot take myself serious. Um, it's a summer scent. It is definitely a summer, spring, summer scent. Um, oh, smells so good. Because I love Burberry Her, um, the Burberry Elixir. I like Baccarat. Um, I just have the body oil. I don't have the actual Baccarat perfume, um, but I do know what it smells like. Um, but Ooh, did y'all hear my stomach? My stomach is growling, girl. Okay, it's time for me to go. But that is literally, yeah, that is all that I wanted to share um, that I just wanted to talk about and share because I've been loving these products. And y'all know I love to just talk about products with you guys and share the ones that I'm currently loving and obsessed with. And I also love knowing the products that you guys are loving. So leave those in the comments because I want to know. And I also want to try out some of your favorite products too. So leave them down below in the comments. But that is it, girl. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I shared all of my current favorites. If you tried any of these out, I want to know your thoughts. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let us know down below in the comments. But yes, thank you so much for hanging out. If you enjoyed, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Can we make love?